Do you know the mother of Jesus? Yes, Mary. I love Mary very much and I want to know more about her. So let's go talk to her uncle, okay? Yeah! Good morning, Papa Uncle. Hey, good morning, Mercy. Good, good morning, morning, Betsy. How are you guys doing? We're very fine. How are you? Yes, doing good, doing good. Very joyful to meet you, learn a lot about Jesus with you, to teach you, yeah. uh, to add more information. It's so exciting. Okay, so, so um, what I question want to, you have? I want to learn more about Mother Mary. Mother Mary? Oh my God. I love her, respect like anything else because, you know, um, there's no big background for Mary. Yes. There is no background. Other than, she is a holy and virtuous woman. She is called as a virgin. And that was prophesied 400, 500 years before about this virgin. And she lived a life worthy of that virgin. Today, you see, it's very difficult in this world. People say it is very difficult to live yes. holy. But Mary chose to be holy. And that's why God chose Mary, her womb, to bring the divine plan into this earth. The divine plan. And that's why uh, there's no record that she is from a rich family. Yes. She's from a most educated family. Yes. She's from a most beautiful one. No, there's no record. But Bible says that she's holy and she's really virtuous woman. And she's very kind. Because from her words and the travel with Jesus, we can understand she's a very kind-hearted person. Yes. Right? Yes. And that's why God chose our womb to get Jesus into the earth. Nobody else in this earth. Like there are crores and crores yes. and crores of people who lived before, who is going to live after also. But nobody else has that privilege except that Mary. Because she is such a holy, gentle, virtuous woman. If you live a holy life like that, God will honor you and fulfill His prophecy in your life. That's why we need to live a holy life. From Virgin Mary, from nowhere, she now has to transform herself as a Mother Mary, which is very difficult, right? Even now, people those who uh, doesn't understand those who have a negative thinking those who are um, um, bounded by Satan and spirit they they uh, throw wrong things and um, uh, blasphemy against Mary because yes. they don't understand the they divine power because man sinned so a man has to die for man's sins but the man should not come through the natural way as a man and woman joined together because that's going to be a flaw that's going to be a sinful nature again and that's why God chose Mary to bring forth the child or, or um, she conceived a child by the Holy Spirit yes the God who created life in this earth again created a life in the womb of Mary and Jesus was born, was born. Now she has to face the world. Her yes. relatives might have um, accused her, uh, teased her, her friends might have tortured, so many reproaches might be, but all these things she knows that she's carrying a divine plan for the Amen. entire world. Joy for the world, salvation, redemption for the world. And that's the joy of Mary. She, uh, she endured all the sufferings. She endured joyfully everything else. She must have been so happy. Yes. She should be so privileged, right? Yes. So we should definitely respect, honor, and live like Mary, a holy mother, holy virgin Mary, and holy mother. Likewise, we should also be blessed. Because the angel, when, when he met uh, um, Mary, he first said, he welcomed and, she, uh, and he said that thou art a blessed woman among all the women in the earth. Amen. Mary was blessed because she was a chosen vessel. That's the life of Jesus Christ and a little part play, played by Mother Mary. Mary. That's really, really great thing. And Mary, really, she lived a holy life. She chose to be humble. She never complained to Joseph, why I should leave my child? It's a divine plan. Why I should lay in the manger? 
Why there is no room in the hotel? Why you are not taking me? Why you are not taking care of me? Did she complain? No. No. She wholly accepted the divine plan. How lowly and humble it was. Yes. And that's why Mary is such a lovable Mother Mary. We respect her, honor her. We love Mary because she she chose to be holy, humble, and gracious. She is a virtuous woman. If you choose to be holy and living for God with the fear of God, definitely God will honor you in all your ways and in all the works of your life. My friend, I encourage you to live for God and accept God and live a holy life for God. And God bless you.